try to show you how to add uh, two forces together, how to find the resultant of two forces. So here on the board, I have a picture of two forces. F1 is acting at a degree of uh, at an angle of 60 degrees, and the magnitude of F1 is 50 newtons. The second force is 20 newtons, acting at an angle of 15 degrees, uh, in the direction shown here in the picture. Uh, we've done this before, I believe, uh, so uh, you, you should already know how to do this, but just to make sure that, uh, that we're all at the same page, uh, let's do this here. Um, remember to find the net force. Uh, we first have to divide all of the, the acting forces into their components. So this is one way how to do that. So let's take F1 and let's find its two components. The horizontal component, we could call it F1x, and the vertical component, let's call it F1y. And of course, we use the magnitude of F1 and the angle of 60 degrees. Make sure your calculators are set to the degree mode, not to the radian mode. Uh, so F1x from this triangle right here would be just F1 times the cosine, because this is the adjacent in the triangle, so cosine of 60 degrees. In our case, this would be 50 newtons times cosine of 60 degrees. Now, if I uh, remember correctly, cosine of 60 degrees is one half. So this is just one half of 50 newtons, which would be 25 newtons. That's the x component. The y component is f1 times the sine of 60 degrees. So this would be 50 times sine of 60 degrees. And I believe that's word of 3 over 2. I'm just going to do it here with a calculator. 50 times sine of 60. So that's about 43.3 about newtons acting up. Let's just check the, the cosine. 50 times cosine 60. Okay, I remember it correctly. Good. So then the x and the y component of F1. Now let's, just, let's do the same thing for F2. Greg, can you uh, throw me the red marker? The red marker. Quickly. Quickly. Good catch. Okay, so the x component of F2, F2x, we do the same thing. We have 20 times cosine of 15 degrees. And that gives us 20 times cosine of 15. That gives us 19.3 newtons. 9.3 newtons. Let's do F2y, the y component of F2, which would be 20 times sine of 15 degrees. 20 times sine of 15 degrees, we get 5.3. 2 newtons, 5.2 newtons. Now we have to add all of the x components of all of the uh, forces and all of the y components. In this case, uh, there are two forces, so we, we add two x components and two y components. So F net x, the x component of F net, is then going to be F1x plus F2x. Now F1x is 25 newtons and F2x is 19.3 newtons. So do we just go 25 plus 19.3? No, of course not, because the two components, the two x components are acting in the opposite direction. So this is really plus 25 newtons and this x component is minus 19.3. Maybe we should write it in here. It's acting in this direction, it's minus 19.3. So here we would actually go 25 minus 19.3, and that, of, of course, is 5.7 newtons, positive 5.7 newtons. And we do the same thing for the y component of the net force. So we go F1y plus F2y. In this case, they are both in the same direction, both of those components. So we just add 43.3 newtons plus 5.2 newtons and we get 48.5 newtons for the y component of the net force. So the
then we can say that F net, F net has the two components of 5.7 and 48.5 newton. So there's the answer. So there's the components of the net force. Net force. 5.7 newtons and 48.5.